Take one man with an irresistible need. Add a woman with an immovable heart. Offer him the solution to the problem at the price of oblivion. The total reads, High Adventure. Meetings in order, friends and members. Welcome to the High Adventure Society. As we do each week at this time, we're gathered here to induct a new member. And all non-lovers of heart-stopping thrills and throat-clutching suspense had better withdraw. Because on the agenda is a subtly horrifying story called Flood Time, Ebb Time. Written by Hal Reed and directed by Robert Monroe. To tell it, Here's the man who lived through it, Nick Page. Nick? Go ahead and tell your story, Nick. We, uh, we, we thought we might have some difficulty, friends, so I'll just start the story for him. It really begins, I guess, at the end of last summer. Nick and his wife, Paula, had spent the summer at the beach, I remember. And this particular afternoon, Nick was on his way home to the cottage where they'd been living. Paula. Oh. Hello, Nick. Well, the birds are leaving. I just saw some mallards flying south. Yes, now we'll really be alone. It'd be wonderful, won't it? Oh, yes. Wonderful. Remember our first summer out here? We felt so bad about the birds leaving, we'd have to go back to town. Oh. Who's that in the living room? Dad? Yes. He brought that stuff from the apartment. Well, aren't you? I've got some things to unpack. Well, let's see now, spoons. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, Dad. Oh, hello, Nick. Oh, well, thanks for bringing the things over. That's all right. We'll need them this winter. Uh, I want to talk to you about that, Nick. I took Paula to Dr. Davis today. Is he the nearest doctor? Yeah. I thought you were so worried about her. Bad weather, you could never get a doctor. Well, it if... won't matter. Nick, this is no place to stay out of season. These cottages are none too strong, and the surf here can be very rough. You're right on the beach, and a bad storm could wash his shack away before you know it. Be reasonable. Don't you understand? What little time we have left, I want us to spend together. Alone. Uh, look, son. All right. But why pretend she's dying? Why pretend she isn't? There's only one thing wrong with that girl. She's unhappy. She's not. There's never been a harsh word between us. Maybe that's it. What? I don't know. Son, before you were married, you two were... She hasn't changed. That isn't what I meant. There's never been anyone but Paula. Yes, I know. You don't understand. Don't I? We're happy together. Are you? Perfectly happy. Just let me alone. All your life. And you still do it. Do what? Close your eyes to whatever you don't want to see. What do you mean? Oh, forget it. Finished unpacking? No, I don't feel very well. Uh-huh. What did the doctor say? Finally got around to asking me. Well, I didn't know you'd gone Doesn't there. know what's wrong with me. Nobody does. Didn't he prescribe anything? Rest. That's all he knows. Maybe that'll help. Uh, I suppose so. Good. He'll be over again tomorrow. Oh? Well, fine. Paula... I think again before I stayed here. It's after... too late for that. Our apartment's gone. Well, she'll be all right, won't you, Paula? If anything happened to you, I. Yes, Nick. Get some bedding out of the storeroom, will you? Oh, no, of course not. I'll be right back. Well, your silver's unpacked. Want me to finish inside? Oh, would you, Father? Surely. You have to leave right away. Well, I'm afraid so. Tell you what I think. He's got murder on his mind. What'd you... Where's Dad? In the bedroom. Alone? I suppose so. Why? Well, he... Nothing. I'll get that bedding. Trying to kill her. That's what he's up to. He's trying to kill her.
Doctor. Oh, can't you be quiet, Nick? Oh, don't be frightened, darling. Uh, Dr. Morley. Oh, must be deaf. I'll be right back. Don't hurry. Dr. Morley. What's the matter? Where's Dr. Davis? Give him a chance, Mr. Page. This storm... Oh, can't you do something? Well, I'm not familiar with your wife's case. All I know is that Dr. Davis asked me to meet him here for consultation. Well, why isn't he here? You can't blame Dr. Davis. Oh, what do you mean? Well, living out here at the end of nowhere this time of year. December is no time. All for... right, all right. Keep watching for him. I can't watch for him. Talk to you, too. Murderer. That's a lie. What's that? I'm not a murderer. What? Who said you were? You think I couldn't hear you? Me? Nick! Is that... Uh, where are you? Oh, Dad. In here, Mr. Page. Uh, what's the story, Nick? Is she... What happened? Your uh, car stalled. The road's flooded. I, I had to wade. Flooded? He'll never get here now. Got to get out of here. But Paula can't go out in She'll that. She'll have to. Are you crazy? You can't stay here. Uh, doesn't matter now. The house is liable to wash away. Doesn't matter now. Snap out of it, Nick. She'll die anyway. She'll die anyway. All right, we'll wait a few minutes. Maybe Davis will get here yet. Are you sure Paula's up? I'll go talk to her. Doctor. Yes? It's no use. He won't come now, not in time. How how much longer has she got? Now, Mr. Page... Don't... I know she's dying. Isn't she? Well, I'm not familiar with the case, but I certainly wouldn't say that she was... How, how much longer will she live? Can she last out the day? We can't wait any longer. The house will go any minute. But Paula... I... She's asleep. Asleep? You sure she... About time. That hypo I give... That was the house next door. Nick, get Paula. I'll let her die in peace, can't you? Doctor, can you wake her? I'll try. Mrs. Payne... Oh, don't shout at her like wasted that. wasted enough time. All right, all right. I'll wake her. Paula... Wake up, darling. You can't wake her up like that. She's had a high... Shut up. Paula. Let me kiss you awake. Here. Cold. Dead. Where's the doctor? I'm dead. What happened? I... Isn't it cold out there? Cold. Polo. It's nice and warm here. Warm? Come back. Nick. Huh? No, no, don't stop there. Nick. Don't stop. Come all the way back. Come back to me. Nick. Oh, Nick, don't turn around and go away again. Don't go away again. Don't. Nick. Huh? Nick. Yeah? Have you seen what's going on outside? Oh, what do you mean? Come on, I'll show you. All right. See? See what? I don't... Oh, mallards. Oh, the birds are flying south. Yes, the summer's over. Oh, are you really as sad as all that? <laughs> no, not really. But I'm sorry, that's all. Oh, about what? Going back to the city. Ah. Oh. I wish we didn't have to. Yeah, I know. Nick, someday let's not go back. Well, stay here all year round? Uh-huh. But well, these are only summer cottages. Why do we care? Well, nobody stays here after September. See what I mean? Oh, Paula. You wouldn't be afraid. Of what? Being alone out here with me. Uh-uh. No telling what I might do. Sounds wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a wonderful summer, Nick. Just like we always said it'd be, remember? Nick. Yeah? 
Remember the first time we saw the cottage? Oh, from the cliff? Mm-hmm. You chased me, and we both fell down, and that was when I saw the cottage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, kids. We huh? were wonderful. We were going to be married that June and spend our first summer here, and there wasn't going to be a war, and the world was our oyster. Fine couple of prophets we were. Oh, Nick, we did have to wait so long for that first summer, didn't we? I should have married you that June, Ed. It doesn't matter now. No. As long as we've had our first summer, after all. But it's gone so fast, it's over so soon. My favorite summer, 1946. Memorizing dates again. Mm-hmm. I could press flowers instead. No, thanks. That's, that's even sillier. Oh, you think I'm silly? Oh, you're not so bad. You're not so bad yourself. Thanks. Don't mention it. All right. You um, don't mind being married to me? Oh, hardly at all. Thanks. Don't mention it. All right. And what are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know, do you? <laughs> no. Nick. Uh-huh? Do me a favor. What? Kiss me. Kiss me. <gasps> Call her. Dad. Nick. I kissed her. And she... What? Nick. Come back. All the way. But... It's warm and safe and... Nothing can hurt you here. Come on now. Yeah. Good. I knew you'd want to come back. That's fine. Come on. Nick! What? what? Don't stop, I... Nick. Keep on coming back. Nick? Oh, no. Don't stop. Nick! Nick, why do you turn away like that? Don't go away again. Nick! Nick! What? I thought you wanted to walk. Oh, all right. Nick. Uh-huh. Where will we live? Oh, I don't know, Paula. Well, it's important. Is it? <laughs> Not really. You like that song, huh? Mm-hmm. Rachel to the top of the cliff. Come on, slowpoke. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey! Hey, come here, you little devil. You. Stop it. <laughs> stop. Ah, you stop. You make me fall. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no, oh, look what you've done. Well, it's your own fault. You... Nick. Oh, what's the matter? Look down there on the beach. Oh, the cottages? The white one with the red roof. Yeah, yeah. I've decided. What? That's where we're going to live. Hey, hey, take it easy. What do you mean? I don't even get my degree till June. Well? Well, suppose I can't get a job. You better. Besides, I'd marry you anyway. Oh, fine. And then what? And then we'll really be together. All the time. Oh. And we'll live in that house down there. Can't. There's only a summer cottage. Well, then we'll spend our first summer there. Next summer? Mm-hmm. Unless there's a war. Ah, there won't be any war. Oh. Hmm? Hmm? Just purring. Purring? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's been a good day, Nick. Seeing our house and everything. May 23rd, 1939. 1939. I'll show you how to make it a good year. Come here. Mm, lie still, Nick. You'll break the spell. Oh, what spell? Beast. For me? Yes, you. It's the way you made me. What? Before I met you, I was... I was just a scared little rabbit. Ha! Huh. Well, didn't I used to sit outside your house when you played the piano? Too scared to go in and meet you? You did? Mm-hmm. But now, come here, I'll show you. Oh, no, you don't. Young lady, do you want to live in that cottage down there? Yes, sir. You want to marry me this June? Yes, sir. All right, then. You going to kiss me? Yes, Nick. Oh, Paula. <gasps> Cold. Death. Nick. Yeah? I told you not to go away again. Now... Come back. Yeah. That's right. Yes, that's fine. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to worry about. Just come back. That's right. Nick. I'm 
Dad, I... Nick, don't stop. Don't turn away now. Not when you've come so close to me. Nick! Nick! Don't go away again. Not again, Nick. Doctor. Yes? See if you can rouse him. I'll try. Oh, Nick. Now you'll have to start all over again. Mr. Page, come out of it. There's no use. Are you sure? Quite sure. Nick, can you understand me? We'll have to leave. Wait, Doctor, wait. Nick, we've got to get out of here. I, I can't carry Paul on you, too. You, you've got to snap out of here. Uh, I'll come back for you if the house... Uh, if I can. Are you coming? All right. All right. Maybe, maybe I... What? What? Stop that now, Nick. Stop that, please. You want to come back. You know you do. I... I... There's nothing to worry about here. Come back again. I... I... Oh, Nick, why didn't you come back? Oh, what is too close? Drown if I... Dad. Dad. Why, it's too late. I'm gone. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get out. Charlie's ground. Mr. Payne. What? Are you all right? Wet. Cold. That's all. Well, you, you better get inside. Inside? It's cottage up against the cliff. Behind the seawall. Come on. There's... Water in the house. I had to swim. I... What happened to me? Some kind of dreams. In here. Your wife's in the other room. She's... I know. I know. You want to see her? No. No, I couldn't. Well, you'd better get those wet clothes on. I kissed her. Then those dreams are... It's so real. There was a voice. Somebody's voice. She called me and I'd go and... Then Paula would call me and I'd stop to see what she wanted and... That voice kept... Kept saying come back. Heard it before. It was almost right up to her and... Then Dad called me and I was drowning. Had to save myself. She sounded so nice. She said, warm, safe. Mr. Page. What? I think I understand. This is real. Here, now. And you must hang on to it, like it or not. What? That other world is only in your mind. You live inside your mind, like crawling into a hole and pulling the hole in after you. But why, why would I? Well, for the small... Chance I had to observe your relations with your wife, my guess is the kind of life you had you couldn't stand. You thought you were stuck with it. With Paula? It was perfect. That's how it starts, blinding yourself to the truth. Paula was always perfect. In your dream world, she is. But that isn't your wife. That's the woman you always wanted her to be. The way I wanted her. Every time I kissed her, she was... Of course. There's always something like that. That's what your mind did to punish itself. Punish itself? For what? Well, let's talk about that later. For what? For wanting her dead. You're crazy. You're crazy. Why'd you convince yourself she was dying? She was. No. Neurotic, that's all. Davis put you on the case. That's my specialty. Nervous and mental cases. Crazy old fool. She's dead, isn't she? Dead? She's healthier than I am. She's alive? Of course. She's asleep in the other room. That's what 
you told me before. And when I kissed her... I gave her a hypo this morning. It's a wonder she stayed awake as long as... Just a minute. Got to see. Paul. Breathe. Wake up, darling. I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead. What place is this? It doesn't matter. Let me... Be careful, Mr. Page. Go away, doctor. When you kiss her, it's quite plain how she feels. Shut up. What's he talking? Forget him, darling. Let me tell you how much... Now I... let me sleep, will you? I understand. Later. Yes, later. Of later. course, darling. Close your eyes and... All right, kiss me. Sleep tight, darling. Cold. Cold. This time. Mr. Page. Good. That's a good boy. Come here to me. I... I know who... Of course you know me. Yes. Yes, I do. There. I knew you'd come back. That's my good little boy. Are you tired, Nick? Uh-huh. Here. I'll hold you right next to my heart. There. Now, sleep. Yes, Mommy. I'm going to sleep here. All my life. Flood time, ebb time. Another strange story of men and women that only can be called High Adventure. Thank you, new member, and we'll place your story in the archives of the High Adventure Society and mark it whole for future publication. And at next week's meeting, friends and members, we're going to the big city for our story of action and suspense with Juniper Bush, which concerns itself with a man who lay unnoticed for 39 hours, 10 feet from civilization. His life dependent upon a single blade of grass. It's Juniper Bush, next week on High Adventure. Featured in the High Adventure role of Nick was Lawson Zerby, with Gene Tatum, Don Douglas, Joe Helgeson, and Abby Lewis. Broadcast engineer was Dick Quotamine, and the High Adventure Orchestra was conducted by Emerson Buckley. Remember, next week, Mutual presents Juniper Bush, a big city story of high adventure. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. <laughs>